Hey y'all, let's check out Wild Branch Brewing. Hey y'all, welcome to day 22 of April Diamonds. I'm Shy in Second Life, and today we're at Wild Branch Brewing. This is a rustic forest themed Sam brought to us by the Nature Collective. So let's go ahead and do a quick outfit check and then we can continue. So today I wanted to go for something that was still gonna be cute, but also comfortable. So we went with gold accessories. I got my braids in today, I'm loving them. So I got my little hoop earrings and my little gold chain with my little tie up shirt cause it's a little muggy out here. Um, didn't do much for uh, arm candy, just got my watch and then my little um, bracelet going on. And I also have my little Louis purse, you know, something real cute, real simple. So let's go ahead and look at the shoes. So we went with wedges today. So I didn't want to have like the whole heel action going on, but they're still red bottoms. Love me some red bottoms. So there we have it. I love it. Very cute and simple. Very nice for this land, I believe. So this is my outfit, you guys. So let's go ahead and continue. So when you first drop down on this lane, you're just going to notice that there is a lot of greenery, which I really, really love. This seems like a little common space for like if they want to do like a live performance or something like that. You can just grab a seat and get you a drink and just kind of enjoy the sights and sounds. Um, I really liked that um, there's so much like greenery. It's a lot of like forest type activity going on that I'm seeing like with the little squirrel and stuff like that. I love the trees and all of that. This lane just gave me a really really nice um just like a nice rustic vibe those wings look super duper good that's a shareable i do know that is the hot dog a shareable the hot dog is a shareable as well so you can click it and then it'll give you um the items so i really really like that i like this is a nice little common area that you can just kind of chill at for starters i guess the squirrel said he, he had enough so I love when the lands are nice and open like this. Um, because this is this land is brought to us by the Nature Collective, I am very much so um, excited to see what will be in store for us today. I am not in the shared environment and I also did not check to see if the land was TP friendly. Let me check right now. So this land is not TP friendly, but that's okay. Just be mindful. It's not, it's never like a bad thing if a land is not TP friendly. I just want you guys to know it so that you don't um, make a mistake thinking that you can maybe get to a spot a little faster and you're gonna end up all the way back at the beginning. So what I'm noticing right away is that there are multiple different paths that you can take um, here. And I really do like that. It makes it a little exciting adventure to kind of figure out where you're going to end up and what, what you're going to see. So this seems like a nice little campsite. They got the little burgers out here, lots of sitting space. This land is a moderate sim, so it's going to be okay for anyone to go to. Um, it kind of feels like it would be best like if you were doing like a group activity or something like that but of course if you are like me don't feel any type of way about going at it alone the burgers and the hot dogs are shareables as well so i do like that they have a lot of sitting spaces and the sitting um spaces in that area at least it seems to be on brand with the rest of the land you know how nature collective does that's normally um their thing they're pretty on brand when it comes to um, the cohesiveness of the landscaping. So I like this little dock and it does allow you to walk down. So they have a really, really nice seating space here where you can just kind of vibe out with the little guitar and things like that. I love this, do the inner tubes. So yeah, you can grab an inner tube and you can kind of just float around a little bit in the little water that they have over here. I love lending water. I love it. That is, if anybody's watching this that's not on Second Life, lending water is basically the water that um, Second Life provides. And it's always so beautiful and it looks so realistic. I absolutely love, love, love the water in Second Life. So although there are um, a lot of little dip off spots um, here, the land is pretty um, walky. It's a pretty walky land with lots of paths, but I do feel like that's contributed to um, the fact that they offer um, horseback riding. So you are gonna want some type of path for you to be able to ride your horse on. So it makes sense. 
I love the horses. They're just grazing and chilling. Everything is so nice here. I love this rustic vibe that they have going on where like you'll have spaces that have flowers, but for the most part, it's just lots of beautiful green grass. I always love that when I come to lands that have like that rustic theme. I love all of the grass because they have like five or six maybe different types of grass. Look at this black beauty. I know that's right. They're beautiful. I love the horses in the second life. They have truly come a very, very long way. It's so pretty. I love it. So this land does seem to be on about um, a sim or so of land. So pretty large in my opinion, um, especially with the amount of trail that you get for riding. I love all the water sounds. They have like a waterfall over here. Let me see, this is part of like the little space where you can take your inner tube and just like hang out. So pretty. All of the water is so pretty here. I love how they have like the little, like a little lazy river going all the way out. That's super pretty. I love this watercolor here. The shared environment here, it was not bad. It was just a little, it wasn't dark, dark, but it was a little darker than I like when it comes to um, me showing you guys the land. So they seem to have built um, up and out. So they do have a couple of elevated areas that you can um, venture off to that are really, really nice. I love this. I love the overlook. It's so beautiful when you pan out. Look how pretty that is. I love this little red car. I wonder, can you sit on it? Nope. They have some cars where you can sit on them and they have like animations and things like that. If they don't have a hand, I really don't bother them too much because I'm like, it's just for decoration. So this is really pretty. Love it, love it, love it. So now I actually want us to look in Wild Branch Brewing just to see what they got going on on the inside. It's very pretty out here. All these pretty flowers. I love stuff like this. I love pretty things. When I tell you, if it's, if it's pretty, we panning in. That's going to be the quote. If it's pretty, I'm panning in. I love it. Look at these beautiful flowers with the little rustic watering can. I just love, I love all the lands that I visit, but with Nature Collective, um, when they do the lands, I find that they're all, they always have like that little extra flair where you leave and you're like, man, that was an experience. I've come across other lands that um, were not brought to us by the Nature Collective, but with the Nature Collective, that's definitely something that I have come to um, expect. I love all of this seating. So you definitely could bring um, a group of people and you would not be hard pressed for any seating areas. The seating spaces are very much so ample. I love these lights, they're like little jar lights. Super cute. I love this. Love me some good flowers. So pretty. It has a nice like springtime vibe here. Very, very nice. I love this little like common seating area where you can grab you some beer. And what is this like a little board game or something that you could play dice? Yeah, this is not a dice game. I forgot what this game is called, but they have games. <laughs> and then you can sit at these little barrel tables. I really like this setup here. Oh, it's a little kitty cat. Oh, cause what's a land without a random cat running around? Where's the kitty cat at? Did we lose him? We lost, we done lost the kitty cat, y'all. I wanted us to be able to see. Hmm, maybe another time. 
So I really like this. So they have like different games and stuff. Can you click on, okay, the games seem to be interactive. I like that. So it's lots of different role play options. It's like um, chess, very nice. I love all of the little intricate details that these lands, um, the lands, they make sure that they have like all of these little details that just makes everything just that much more realistic, just that much more um, interesting to look around and just explore. I really, really love that when I see little details like that, it always makes me want to just explore more to see like what else do you guys have what else are you going to put out here that we can look at i really like in here they keep with the um the rustic theme i really do like that so it's giving like a tavern type vibe let's look and see what liquor options they have all right they got some they got some brown you know and some white, I don't, I don't really, I don't really mess with the brown like that, but you know, it depends on how it's given to me. I ain't really a hard liquor type of girl, you know, but I've been known to take a shot or two. So they definitely have a liquor on deck for sure. Wine and some of everything else, very nice. Got the little, was that lemon and lines? Yep. So you want to take a little shot? They got you. They say, look, we'll, we'll give you a little, little quick little chaser. It's nothing. Got the little olives. Ooh, I like this. I love this bar. This is very nice. This is like a little wine selection over here. Oh, these are like all the like different kinds. That they have let's see what they got going on know your craft okay so this gives you like a little bit of information on um the beers and things like that very nice i like that love this little set right here i love the colors here and how they have everything just like put together so nicely super pretty the little barrel decorations all of this is so nice it just makes the space just that much more welcoming that much more inviting to be able to just see all of the little things that they're gonna offer you when you come here to visit very nice I'm gonna look at some more are these like chips i love it and then what do they have on this table over here on oh, they have some games outside too i love how interactive the things are here so even though they do have a lot of like path and and stuff like that but you have to keep in um keep in mind that they also have um horse riding so they're gonna need a path for horse riding but then when you come here to like this common space at the um you actually get into um wild Re branch brewing they have a nice little common space and just about everything here is interactive. So between the food and the games, you're definitely not gonna be bored um, once you get in here. You're not gonna be bored at all at any point uh, while you're here. But when you get to this space, you'll be able to play games with like friends and things like that. And it's just gonna, it's just gonna make the experience that much more better. I love the little fireplace and then the chairs look so cozy and comfy they have the little dart boards i love this the big couch everything looks so comfy in here it's very nice let's see what they got going on outside the beautiful views because what would you expect i love this they got the little scoreboard over there and then they have this little beer drinking game that I do believe this is interactive. Yep, this is interactive. I've seen this game before. Super nice. Very, very nice. 
I really enjoyed exploring Wild Branch Brewing with you guys. Make sure you guys check out their horseback riding options. I know you're going to love it. There's still so much to see and do at Wild Branch Brewing, so I definitely hope you guys check them out. The landmark for this place will be in the description box below. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this place just as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you guys. Make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.